Alright, this is what I got so far of it. That hole down there is actually for whenever I get my uh, water tank in. I'll be able to see the level of my water tank. But, this is it here. I haven't put the uh, uh, board in the back yet because once I put the AC unit and everything up top, I'm going to need to get back behind. And I just also don't have that board yet, so. Now let's get this out of the way here. I put a 2x3 in on the outside of the frame so the shock has something to uh, attach to. It actually goes in at an angle which is kind of funny. It doesn't go in straight so uh, yeah. Um, the, those are the original bolts that came with it. It only came with uh, uh, eight of them which are two inch. I went and got two and a half inch to go through the two by three and put some lock washers on it. Do the same thing for that side. This board here and this board here is to support the weight of the bed so it's not resting on the uh, shock. And uh, yeah, I like it so far. Um, I actually cut off this piece here so it has enough for this lip here for the but put this back down that's it there and I'll try to do a lift here yeah, there we go that's how it's done it's not bad so yeah, like I said, I put the uh, two by threes on the outside. That's so I could actually get um, uh, bolts back behind there through this. It works out just fine. Then, ready to close it. Close it down. Of course, these edges won't be lift up on it whenever I get a actual bed on there. And then I'm just going to put the uh, uh, board up in the back, and this is where my king size bed's going to go. So, not bad, huh? And the board I used was a half inch MDF. 